Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, behind me, you see the low side wall greenhouse. It is groundbreaking time. So, in part one, we see the squaring that was apparent for this greenhouse to go up. Now, I am so impressed with his work because he really took his time. He's walking in integrity. He's doing it with excellence, and that's what I'm looking for. That's how I operate. Anything that I do, I try to give it my very best because you know what? That's what we're supposed to do is do our very best as unto the Lord. So, guys, in the part one, we see that the uh, – there was the, the squaring that was taking place, the string that was taking place, and now we got the ground cover, we got the string for the leveling of the low side walls. This is also going to be um, where it, you can, uh, let's see, what is it called? You, got the, you can lower your sides and raise your sides up so it can have a good airflow. For some reason I just forgot the name of it. But you can, you know, roll it up, roll your sides up, that's it, roll your sides up. And so, uh, on this greenhouse, you got to lay your stuff out so you can see exactly what you got. These up here, they have to have the females on these bows, they have to have the females on one side and the males on the other side. You just don't want to mix it up. And so, it's very important to take a, a quick look. And lay your stuff out and see what you got when you get your greenhouse. Now, this greenhouse came from Grower Solution. It is a 16 by 32. Now, with this ground cover, it also came from Grower Solution. And uh, it has a little, little stakes down there that's holding that, that ground cover down. Now, this is going to keep the insects out. Not only that, where the... the the boards at the bottom of the greenhouse and where you know put the raised beds at it's not going to be touching the ground it's going to keep the insects out it's going to protect that wood it's going to help the greenhouse um, in so many different ways back there at the corner we see the leveling and so what he did the first day on part one a groundbreaking that he took and leveled it up so that it can all be squared up. Not leveled up. It's all squ he squared it up so it could all be leveled up. Get this right. So, guys, I'm so excited about this. It is cold and weary and dreary right now. The weather has held up this greenhouse for so long now. And uh, so he was out here yesterday even into this weather. I'm out here in this weather, and so it, the ground is just soggy. As I'm walking, you can hear me just kind of sloshing around in it. So, guys, the temperature is dropping. So, I just want to give you a quick update what's going on with the greenhouse. It is odd. So, I believe the next step is to install the purlings which they've got to be laid out got to figure out exactly where they go at and so when you get your greenhouse and grower solutions right now i noticed last night that they're all sold out but they're going to get some more you, you come it co comes with a manual so you can look at it now this greenhouse is going to be a little bit different because i live into a hurricane zone <laughs> we get hurricanes here and uh, they're getting pretty bad. So I really, really want to build this one so that it can withstand the strong winds, even with the winds of not having a hurricane. We're getting a lot of winds. So there's going to be uh, some wood added to this greenhouse, not just uh, steel pipes and plastic that I got from Grower Solutions, but there's also some wood that I loaded in. I had got this uh, wood. Uh, actually about five months ago and uh, I was going to go ahead and put this greenhouse house up myself but uh, some things happen in life you know we just got to kind of roll with life 
but life happens, right? So over here, I'm going to show you this wood that's covered up. And the reason it's covered up because it's, it's drizzling rain right now. So there's a lot of wood up under there. And uh, I'm so thankful for this taking place. And uh, guys, give me a thumbs up on this video. Give me a like so that these videos can get out there into the arena, the arena with YouTube. And so others can see it. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you'll know when the next video is taking place here onto the homestead. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all my sus subscribers. I always get tongue twisted on that word. But thank you so much for taking the time and visiting the homestead. My name is Cammie on Never Alone Homestead. Remember y'all, make it a great day. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. <music>